Five years ago, I decided to kill someone. On the 5th of October, 2014, I succeeded. Contest Chair, distinguished judges, ladies and gentlemen, the person I killed was the old me. It was the end of a journey I began five years ago. Back then, I was literally much more than I am right now. Two numbers were used to define and judge me. 38 and 82. The former was the size of my waist, and the latter was how much I weighed. I was unhappy, somewhat depressed, and up until that point in my life, felt unaccomplished. Appearance is never the issue. It's how it makes you feel inside, that is. Two months ago, I achieved something that, had any one of you told me a year ago, I would have thought impossible. I finished a marathon. 42 kilometers from Colombo all the way to Nigambo. Now, I wasn't the fastest or the first across the line, but I finished. And what was most important to me than the distance itself or the six months of training that I put into it was how it made me feel and what it made me become. You see, five years ago when I started running, it was to achieve two things. First, to lose weight and get fit. Second, to have an accomplishment up on a mantelpiece, something that I can look back on proudly during my difficult times and think to myself, if I was able to do that, this should be a walk in the park. But what it ended up doing was teaching me about life and discipline. When you start running, you will always have a goal, some sort of distance, 10, 20, 50, 100 kilometers, no matter how impossible it may seem. Life is no different. We aspire to do extraordinary things when we are young. An astronaut, a cricketer, a musician. There is no barrier that would bar our imagination. After all, at one point or another, we have all been told to reach for the stars and that one day, perhaps, maybe, somehow, if we are lucky, that we'll at least end up on the treetops. As you pass your first few kilometers and you hear your heart beat a little bit faster and the sound of your feet hitting the asphalt a little bit louder, you feel more confident and motivated to push harder and harder. As you grow up, you meet new people, get great opportunities, land that dream job, make friends, and fall in love. You feel as if you're on top of the world and that there is absolutely nothing that can bring you down. Halfway through, however, you start to feel your pace dropping, your energy deteriorating, and without warning, all of a sudden, you'll feel or you'll hit what runners call the wall. It's a mental and a physical barrier, at which point you'll simply feel like <sighs> giving up. But as you look back at the distance that you've covered thus far and the comparatively small amount left to go, you realize that it's only a matter of time before you ultimately reach that elusive goal. Ladies and gentlemen, life is a marathon. It's not a competition with anyone else, but a battle to better yourself. Start too fast, and you may never, ever see the finish line. Stop at the wall, and you will regret it for the rest of your life. But focus, pace yourself, 
and most importantly, fight through that pain. And I guarantee you, the person who finishes would have won much, much more than just a marathon. Contest chair.